Hi guys, General Splatten here. I want to do a quick video on some of the products I use that um, I think can make your hobby uh, better and certainly cheaper. Alright, let's get right into it. First up, we have a epoxy putty here uh, used by plumbers called Loctite. This is the brand. Sorry, the package has been decimated. I was lucky to even find it. It is a two-part epoxy. You have the blue outside, uh, a white inside produces a gray epoxy once it's mixed up. It is five minutes in working time and this is something that can be very beneficial to you sculptors out there where you're thinking well, what can I do in five minutes and perhaps not a lot but that's not why I'm showing you this. Uh, green stuff is expensive depending on especially where you get it. You know. So this is like three, four, five ounces and it was like three, four, five bucks. Uh, you can find this at any hardware store or the equivalent for you international viewers and all this for you international viewers. If you don't have these particular brands, I'm absolutely convinced you've got the exact same thing in another brand. You just might have to hunt for it. The reason I show you this is that if you're a sculptor and uh, you're doing uh, big areas or you're doing uh, <clears throat> uh, joint work and whatnot, this could help you because you can lay, uh, if you got a really big area that you're sculpting, you can mix this up, lay this down underneath uh, the sculpt work, <clears throat> build that area up, then take your green stuff or your milli putt, put this and put that over the top so that uh, you're not using as much of your sculpting medium and you can save a little money. In other words, you uh, roll this out put it in the area then you put your green stuff over the top of that and sculpt your fine detail work where you have plenty of t you know you've got hours to uh, do your sculpt work so this could save you money because you're not you having to use so much of the sculpting medium to uh, do it so it's a good alternative for you guys that sculpt a lot out there and uh, do extensive conversion work this can save you money because it's a lot cheaper than uh, regular green stuff. So it's something that uh, if uh, you're doing a diorama and you need some area built up and uh, you don't want to use your expensive stuff, well, this is a cheap alternative. It's just a five-minute epoxy, uh, epoxy plumber's putty, but it has a lot of uses around the household. So uh, go to your hardware store or your department store, check this these type of products out uh, sure that you'll find something that would be very useful for you on to the next one which is Gorilla Glue uh, this is a uh, product that you can uh, use uh, for uh, bonding uh, joints uh, for gluing things together it will glue anything together and it will be a super duper strong bond when it glues uh, it is waterproof once it uh, dries but you do need water to help activate it uh, just dampen slightly the areas to be glued glue it and then clamp it now you don't have to clamp it if it's something like uh, a wing you're putting on a, a piece like with my uh, dragon bones the dragon I obviously couldn't clamp that but I held it in place uh, to get it started and then I used some things to uh, support it so it didn't shift while it was glue, uh, being in the drying process. Gorilla Glue, very, very strong. Good thing about this, uh, it, it does have a long drying time of uh, hours, you know, an hour or two. But the good thing about this is that there's no mixing. You just squirt it right out of the bottle. Now, this is a uh, expanding agent type of uh, glue. In other words, it's going to foam on you, so it's going to expand outward and then uh, you might have to wipe some excess off or but it can help fill uh, gaps so when you're doing painting but it will be a, a bubbling foam type thing so there will be uh, some porous areas but it's a very very strong bond and it's a great alternative to epoxy where you don't have to mix it next stuff up is a product by called JB Weld this is uh, another plumber's product but it'll glue uh, anything. Uh, you mix the two parts together and you uh, put them in there in your gap, in your joint, 
and it hardens up a lot harder than green stuff would so it's a, be a very hard surface the great thing about this is they say you're building a large figure you're going to have some big gaps or have to do some pinning this can eliminate the gap filling process you're doing you're gluing on a wing well you're going to use a, uh, a pin it well if you put enough in there so it squeezes out then all you got to do is wipe off the excess and you don't have to do any gap filling with green stuff or whatnot so you've eliminated a step right there um, now they have two different versions they have the regular version where it, you know, it's going to dry in hours this is a five minute working time uh, bonding agent so you it won't hold you up uh, with your model modeling or your uh, figure building uh, it dries in five minutes and it'll be once you give it about it'll be hard but it, in an hour it'll be rock hard so uh, this is a great alternative for gap filling you just, uh, mix this up correct proportions squeeze it in there wipe off the excess like you need to or as you're pinning you don't have to worry about green stuff. I love this stuff. It is awesome. Next up, we have uh, all-purpose joint compound, drywall compounders. We say here in the south, sheetrock compound or mud. So uh, you can use this for basing. You can use this for your dioramas. Uh, it's a good way to build up like snow banks or uh, hills or, or whatever you need it to do. Uh, there are different versions out there. This version, unfortunately, is a very, very excruciatingly slow version of drying time. But they do have versions out that dries in 20 minutes, 45 minutes, so it won't hold up your hobby uh, too long so you can get back to making your uh, project. Uh, so I had to go with this because it was the middle of the night and I needed some. But like I said, there are very, very quick drying versions out there so you're not wasting time waiting for mud to dry. Uh, so lots of alternatives for that next up we have uh, this is Elmer's craft bond it's basically a spray glue good thing about this stuff is that you can use this to set flock and foliage and leaf work or glue uh, paper together you know a lot of different bonding agents uh, or bonding uh, applications with this stuff in other words uh, I've used this uh, on my, my dioramas like with uh, pumpkin rumbling the one I'm working on now and others you just spray it on and your foliage is set in other words this the good benefit of this is that you don't have to mix up white glue and water and wait for the water to evaporate out and then the glue to set uh, if you spray if you don't spray this too liberally uh, this could uh, be dry in just uh, minutes if you spray a thin coat it'll dry fast and get you back to doing uh, what you need to do uh, more quickly instead of waiting for that glue to dry so excellent product I love it now this next section comes to you courtesy of uh, Bloodthorn Zero I encourage you to go check out his channel so this is a shout out to him he posted a vid I believe it was yesterday about uh, what we as, as a hobbyist use to seal our miniatures and coat our miniatures and so thought I'd uh, throw this in here and uh, show him what I do and tell you about it at the same time First off, uh, this folk art clear coat is just a uh, gloss varnish, spray varnish. Uh, very cheap. This was a dollar or two for this can of six ounces. Uh, so it's a lot cheaper alternative to spray gloss from uh, the run of the mill name brand uh, hobby companies. Uh, it's non yellowing. The good thing about this is I use this and spray all my miniatures with this first. Well, you might not want a complete gloss varnish over the whole miniature. Well, this is gloss varnish is going to protect far better than a uh, dull matte varnish will. So, even though I don't game, I want my miniature to stay protected as much as possible. So, I spray on this stuff first to uh, give it a really hard uh, shell for best protection. Then I come behind it, and I particularly this is uh, Testers Dull Coat. Uh, Testers is a model making company, paint company. So then I come back, spray this over it, so it dulls the model back down and gives it that dull sheen matte uh, effect that I and so many other people like. I usually use two coats of the uh, Testers because the first coat may not cover or coat over the uh, gloss varnish completely the first time, so I come back and hit it with a second coat. 
Uh, so uh, I've got complete com protection like I need to, but then I get the effect of the the matte effect that I'm looking for. So it's the best of both worlds, and plus it's extra protection with the the dull coat on the outside. Any matte varnish that you like or prefer will do just fine. But that's my process that I use: gloss uh, spray varnish first, then matte uh, spray varnish second. Uh, now, then if I come back, I have uh, some uh, brush on uh, sealers and gloss, semi gloss and or satin and uh, dull. Then I come back and put the just brush on the gloss varnish on the eyes and the mouth. Uh, recently did the uh, zombies that you saw, or the ghouls rather, not zombies. And I had uh, blood on one of their hands. And then I came back with the gloss varnish and put that over it. So you get the absolute best of both worlds. Complete com protection, but you can have the model turn out precisely as you want it. Uh, with uh, spray varnishes and then the brush on varnishes behind that. Uh, so that's how I uh, protect and coat uh, miniatures once I'm done with them and I get the effects that that I need to well uh, and you can use you know this is just a cheap craft gloss varnish uh, and you can use like I said whatever you want whatever you prefer but uh, these are just some cheap alternatives to uh, save you a little money but still get some great great effects so uh, let me know what you think about this. Uh, there's others I could have grabbed, but uh, these are what I chose right now, and I'll put another general chips up later so that uh, you can see those as well. But uh, tell me what you think. Uh, got any questions or comments? You know, send me a personal message or put them in the comment section below. Ask you please rate. You know, hope you like it. But uh, tell me what you think about it. Uh, Tell me, put in the comment section uh, some of your alternatives uh, to these products, especially you international people. I uh, ask you to do that because you might give the answer to uh, somebody's dilemma and let them know the, the alternative product names and brands out there to what's here available in the U.S. So, thank you for watching. I appreciate it, guys, and thank you for all the subscribers. Oh, quick note about the uh, contest. Many of you have already entered. I really, really appreciate that. It's ongoing, <laughs> guys. It is very, very obscure. To be honest, I will be very surprised if anybody actually guesses the correct answer. But if you do, hey, I might just up that price to something a little bit more because it is so obscure. You never know. But keep trying out there, guys. Uh, uh, the obvious answer is not the correct one. So keep looking, keep digging. Uh, keep sending those funny answers in. Uh, I love the funny answers, and that's mainly one of the reasons I did the contest because, hey, it was for my entertainment. <laughs> so, and some of your comments and your uh, answers have been highly, highly entertaining. Thank you for that. So, this is General Splatten, guys. Appreciate it. Talk to me about all this stuff or any other uh, thing that you've got on your mind. I'd love to hear from you. This is General Splatten. I'll talk again. Dismissed.